by Terence, better known as Tell. Now he's a fitness model who's recently started out in the career. So um, to state the obvious, you are very athletically fit. Uh, currently you say you're a personal trainer, but what made you get into that to begin with? Uh, just a passion for fitness really, just developed. I was working as an interior designer and I just got more and more into fitness and I was kind of writing programs at work, things like that. And I just come to a point where I thought I'd rather be doing something in the fitness mm. industry as opposed to an office job. Okay, so how many times a week would you be working out um, in the beginning to versus the amount of times that you work out now? Has that changed? Yeah, like the volume and frequency has increased quite a lot. So to start with is maybe, um, you know, three times a week, four times a week. Mm. And now it could be anything to three times a day. That's absolutely insane. Six days a week, so quite a lot. It helps working in the gym as well, so it's not like all, it's not like three intense workouts. Yeah, you're sort of doing it. Little bits and bobs in there, yeah, so yeah. You see, it's not just your workouts that you need to get to the way that you are. It's, I would imagine, it's a very big part of your diet as well. Yeah, nutrition plays a, a massive part in it. Mm. So what sort of things would you, you hear a lot of, it's all protein, 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 and I've heard a lot of, it's no carbs, where right. others will say, it's loads of carbs, carbs and protein. Like, it's a bit of a headache, but what do you yeah, do? Yeah, it just depends on what kind of phase you're going through. If you want to put muscle on, mm. then you'd be wanting to eat a lot of carbohydrates and protein. Whereas if you kind of want to lose body fat, where people are kind of cut in for like shows or things like that, then you reduce your carbohydrates and your fats would increase as well. So it's kind of a little, to get everything in balance. Mm. But it's, a, it's all about calories in that as well. And um, when it comes to looking the way you are today, is this your goal? Are you at the peak of your goal the way you want to look? Or do you have a lot more work to do? I don't think anyone's at the peak of the goal really, are they? I think everyone's always wants to be better themselves. Progress and be better, yeah. Is there a point where you'll ever look in the mirror and be like, I'm a bit too big? Um, I've done it before. I've like a few years ago, it's it's not much looking in the mirror, it's kind of a day to day basis hmm. where certain tasks become difficult, yeah. like buying clothes or you know, putting a jacket on, things yeah. like that. Like yeah, quite res <laughs> restricted. <laughs> yeah. What things have you done so far in your career that you've started? I've done a couple of kind of gym wear brands. Um, a um, I did a shoot for a magazine, like DNA magazine, underwear stuff, and I've recently just done one for Mitchell and Ness, which is a American big, one. a big American brand. Yeah, they make uh, NFL shirts and things like that. People are born and they grow to a certain height. That's just their genes. They're slim. Now, I guess they have some sort of lifestyle to actually maintain the way they look. But am I right in thinking that you would have a harder type of, you know, lifestyle to maintain? Because obviously, if they don't eat right, they can, you know, they're naturally like that. But if you miss out a week or so at the gym. Mm. That must be more of a knock-on effect to you with your modelling career. Am I right in thinking that? Yeah, you've, it, you have to make it part of your lifestyle. Mm. So it's, it's not like you wake up and it's, oh, I've got to go to the gym. It's just something you do on a daily basis. Mm. So yeah, it would have more of an effect. Like if you, say, went on holiday for a week and pigged out, then you kind of have to... I mean, when you go away, do you still constantly think of this or do you actually give yourself time to relax? Um, I do relax, do, but I, tr I do try and train when I'm away. Mm. Um, or, but I do tend to eat, kind of just relax a bit on that front, maybe eat. Let know, yourself go to Yeah, the stuff I wouldn't do, yeah. It's, it's kind of, once you get that big selection of food in front of you, you never normally eat, it's like mm. a kid in a sweet shop. So uh, it's hard not to <laughs> indulge in everything. Yeah, and you just I think, bet. oh, I'm on holiday. So yeah, you've got, to, you've got to treat yourself. Now, there is a bit of a darker side that you, you hear about to sports and fitness. Um, about drugs helping enhance your performance to help enhance the way you look. Mm -hmm. What are your views on that darker side? Well, everyone, you see a lot of fingers being pointed everywhere, oh, he's doing this, he's doing that. Mm. But then people kind of, they do neglect that there's a lot of hard work that they put in. So, I mean, people, it's easy to say, oh, he's doing this, doing that, whereas they fail to, they completely miss that he spent the past six, seven years of his life training mm. every single day. There is people who obviously abuse it. You like get your idiots on like Friday night and stuff, like dormer and that kind of stuff, or people who get drunk mm -hmm. or taking, you know, non-purchase like over-the-counter supplements stuff mm -hmm. like that. 
And um, yeah, they give it a bad name. But then there is people who like kind of don't use it, or even if they do use it, but then they are using it to its potential. It's helping them yeah, progress in their them. career. Yeah. yeah so. Now, my sort of stereotype of a typical muscly fitness model is, no, sorry to say, <laughs> but it's sort of a bit, you know, um, self-obsessed, you know, selfies in the gym, in the mirror, and, um, and things like that. So am I, am I wrong in thinking that? At no, all? not at all. I've met a lot of people like that. Because <laughs> <laughs> you find that, um, you know, models that you have more fashion models, obviously they are quite vain in some senses, but when you sort of see the sort of more fitness models, especially on social media, yeah. there's just a lot more like intensity of like, yeah, it's, look at me, you know. It's, it's becoming a bit of a joke. Like The question that I really want to know is, can you lift me above your head? You say you're strong. I don't, so. say, I'm, I don't say I'm strong at all. <laughs> <laughs> it, dep <laughs> it depends what you've had for breakfast this morning. <laughs> You know, I've made sure that I'm the lightest I can possibly be for you, so... We'll give it a go. Yeah, brilliant. Let's go and give it a go. <laughs> so, if you like Tell Story, feel free to visit him on his Twitter and Instagram pages at Tell Eastburn. Do you have any other sites, Tell? Yeah, you can follow... You can go visit my Facebook page, Eastburn Fitness, get some tips on nutrition and training. Thank you so much for joining us today, Tal. Thank you for having me. I've enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs>